Hello everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to turn this piece of live oak and this piece of live oak into a very simple mallet. If you watched my video on the modification of the Harbor Freight Axe, I had mentioned when I was hanging the head that I didn't have a wood mallet. So I want to make a very simple one. I mean, you can make these out of pretty much anything. You could use uh, two by fours and I mean, all kinds of things. Sometimes these guys make beautiful hammers, like you wouldn't even want to use it. But this is going to be one to just use and bang around. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the bark off of this and I'm going to use my uh, new bushcraft axe to uh, whittle this down a little bit. And I'll show you a little bit of that and then all I'll right. bring you back. All right, so you get the idea. I'll continue on with that, and then I'll bring you back. All right, so we got all the bark off. And again, don't care about knots and all of that stuff. Um, me fill them in with epoxy, but not 100% sure. Um, this is just going to be, like I said, a very simple wooden mallet. And I got the, uh, the handle pretty straight, rough shape. So the next thing to do is take it over to the belt sander and uh, refine it a little all bit. All right. So I'm over at the belt sander. I got a 60 grit belt in here. All right, so you get the idea. Let me get this a uh, little closer to finished and I'll bring you back. All right, so I have it pretty much uh, to finish where I want it. Got a little mallet shape head. It didn't go crazy making everything perfectly straight and everything. Just like I said, a real simple uh, wooden mallet. So now I'm going to drill a hole in here and uh, we'll attach the handle. All right, I got a force in a bit in here and I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to make any jigs or anything. I'm just going to eyeball it, try to get it as centered as I can and uh, we'll see how she looks. There's our hole. So now I'm probably going to uh, just glue it in and put a, uh, I'm just going to glue it in. It's not going to come off with that Gorilla Glue. So uh, let me get that uh, glued in and I'll bring All it right, back. All right, so there it is. A simple oak mallet. It's got some heft to it too. And if you had a auger and you know, you could, you could build this out in the bush. Um, obviously, you wouldn't be able to sand it, but I'll tell you, I got lucky drilling that hole. Usually, when I'm drilling into round stock, I am so crooked, but I, I really got lucky. That thing is pretty centered. So, pretty quick little project. Um, I, I like it. I needed it, um, and I like the fact that it came from a tree on my property, which is cool. So, uh, also, I don't know if I mentioned, I put a chamfer on the edge here so that... Uh, less chance of it splintering out and I left it the 60 grit so you get a good grip on it and that's it I'm not doing anything else to it no finish no nothing just as is and uh, maybe down the road when I can get some boiled linseed oil I'll put that on there just to uh, you know protect the wood so it doesn't dry out so there you go um, like always everyone you know I really really mean it I appreciate all your views and I appreciate all your comments and I hope you all having a great day and uh, we'll see you on the next one.